geobyte. Now we will move on to dimensional analysis. At the beginning of this chapter, I have told you that there are seven base quantities. So we can represent the dimension using the square bracket. If I am representing mass, I can represent it with using this. If I am using length, I can use it like this. If it is time, I can use this. Then if it is scatter, I can use this. So you can represent all this, all the base quantities using this square bracket. The dependence of all other quantities are depend or derived from these base quantities. That is, for example, velocity. We know that distance by time, which is equal to distance, can be represented as length. That is, L by T. So, this it's it can be written as L T to the power minus one. But this doesn't give any idea of the magnitude of this. This only gives us an idea how this distance and time varies. So we will see how others uh, other units also. That is for density. We know what is density. It is mass by volume. That is m by l cube. That can be written as m l to the power minus three t to the power zero. Here also you can write it as m to the power zero l t to the power minus one. This velocity is independent of mass. Density is independent of time. Now, if I am considering area, I know area is equal to a square, right? That is l square. Or if I am taking acceleration, that is equal to velocity by Time. We know what is velocity. That is m to the power zero l t to the power minus one divided by t. So this can be written as m to the power zero l t to the power minus two. Now, if I want to find work. Work is equal to force into displacement. What is force? Mass into acceleration. So acceleration, we know what it is. M to the power zero L t to the power minus two. M to the power zero L t to the power minus two into acceleration. This is the acceleration into mass into displacement that is L. So we can write, write it as m l square t to the power minus 2. So this is the dimensional equation of work. So dimensional equation of velocity is l t to the power minus 1. Acceleration is l t to the power minus 2. Area is l square. Density is m l to the power minus 3. Work is m l square t to the power minus 2. So this, this is how you can find the dimensional equations. Now, why do we need this dimensional analysis? So one purpose is checking the dimensional consistency of the equation. For example, total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. That is equal to half mv 
v square plus m g h. So, uh, how to check the dimensional consistency of this equation? First, we will consider energy. Energy has got the same dimensional equation as force, which is equal to ml square t to the power minus 2. Okay. Now, we will check the kinetic energy and potential energies dimensional equations. So, considering kinetic energy this half mv square. Don't consider this constant. So, what is the dimensional equation of this m? It's mv square. So, we know that lt to the power minus 1 is velocity and velocity square. That is 2. So, that is equal to ml square t to the power minus 2. We have got the kinetic energies dimensional equation. Now we will find potential energy. That is mgh. M. This is acceleration. So the dimensional equation of acceleration is lt to the power minus 2. And h is again it can be represented as L. So this can be written as ML square t to the power minus 2. So everything is ML uh, for energy also, total energy also it is ML square t to the power minus 2. Kinetic energy and for potential energy also we got the same dimensional equation. So, this equation E is equal to half mv square plus mgh. This is consistent. But you have to remember one thing that this dimensionally uh, consistent equation may not be correct physically. For example, kinetic energy. Yes, we know that half mv square. If, if I am asking you to find the dimensional equation of this, this will also give you ml square t to the power minus 2. But this equation is not valid. This constant is not 7 by 9. It's 1 by 2. And also one more thing, it's not like physically adding. You can't add these two ml square t to the power minus 2 plus ml square t to the power minus 2. Separately it should obey. Only if it is multiplication, you can uh, put them together. Multiplication or division. Not in the case of addition or subtraction. Okay. So, these things you have to keep in mind. Second point is reducing the relation between various physical quantities. example if I wanted to reduce some equations. Suppose if I am dropping an object from vacuum, the time taken will depends upon, will depend this proportional, this depends upon the acceleration due to gravity and the height at which I drop that object. So I can write it as T is equal to A G H where A is the proportionality constant. Again, I can write it as a g to the power x, h to the power y. Because I don't know how this is related. Like whether it is directly proportional like to the power 1 or it can be like g square or h square or g to the power 3 by 2 or h to the power 5 by 7. It can be anything. So, I wanted to know that how this time exactly depends upon this acceleration due to gravity. And the height of the object from where it is dropped. So, you know that T. T is 1. This is time dimensional equation. Okay, is equal to A 
g is acceleration due to gravity that is l t to the power minus 2 to the power x and this is again l to the power y this is equal to a l to the power x t to the power minus 2x and l to the power y putting this together a l to the power x plus y t to the power minus 2x that is t to the power y we know that there is no mass term here there is no dependency of l logs also so from this we can equate these powers so minus 2x equal to 1 so x equal to minus 1 by 2 now i have got this x now i can find the y that is x plus y is equal to 0 x equal to minus 1 by 2 plus y is equal to 0 y is equal to y is equal to 1 by 2. So I can write this equation as t is equal to from this t is equal to a g to the power x is what? minus 1 by 2 and h is what? 1 by 2 h to the power 1 by 2 that is t is equal to a root of h by g. So I got a relationship. So I understood that this t depends upon root, or root of h by g. There are certain limitations also for this dimensional analysis. That is if you have uh, some equation like a sin omega t and all. In this case, you can't do this dimension analysis. And the other thing is that you can't deduce the constant from this. See, I don't know what the value of this constant is. In the previous case also, I have told you, like, I asked you to find, uh, sorry, what is this 7 by 9 mv square, or we will get. But the actual case, the kinetic energy is given by half mv square. They don't give any information about the constants. Now we will do uh, one problem. So in the first two problems, we have to check the dimensional consistency of the equation. So, first one, we average is what? Distance by time. That is L p to the power minus 1. And what is this u? u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity. So u is also what l p to the power minus 1. v is the final velocity. v is also equal to l p to the power minus 1. So these, this equation, the first equation is dimensionally consistent. Now we will check the second equation. v square is the final velocity that is l p to the power minus 1 square that is equal to l square t to the power minus 2. u square is the initial velocity it will also give the same result l square t to the power minus 2. This is the left hand side. Now we have to check whether this is consistent with the right hand side that is 2s by a. S is the displacement that is L and A is the acceleration that is L t to the power minus 2. So this is what L then will get cancer. It is t square. But this equation is not dimensionally consistent because left side, left hand side we are getting or one dimensional equation and right side we are getting another dimensional equation. So these are not consistent. In this third question, P is the pressure, M1 and M2 are the masses, A is the area. We have to find the X. So pressure, pressure is what? So we we'll start with, oh sorry, 
एल एच एस दैट इज प्रेशर प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू वॉट फोर्स बाय एरिया सो फोर्स इज मास इन टू एक्सेलरेशन एल पी टू दी पॉवर माइनस टू बाय एल स्क्वायर व्हिच इज इक्वल टू एम एल टू दी पॉवर माइनस वन पी टू दी पॉवर माइनस टू सो दिस इज दी प्रेशर नाउ वी विल सी द डायमेंशन इक्वेशन ऑफ राइट हैंड साइड आर जस एम वन प्लस एम टू वी कैन कंसीडर इट एस एट एम वन प्लस एम टू इज इक्वल टू एम सो एम एक्स बाय ए इज गिवन बाय एम वी डोंट नो व्हाट दिस एक्स इज वी विल कीप दिस एक्स एस एच डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया इज व्हाट एल स्क्वायर नाउ वी विल इक्वेट दिस एल एच एस एच आर जस सो दैट इज M L to the power minus one T to the power minus two is equal to M L to the power minus two X. We have to find this X. X is equal to M L to the power minus one T to the power minus two by M L to the power minus two. So this is equal to M M M will get cancel. There will be one L L T to the power minus two. So x is this, which can be acceleration because this is the dimensional equation of acceleration. This is how you have to solve. Sometimes, in, um, probably for endurance or something, you uh, people may ask questions like this. Now we will see another example. If an object of mass m. As in a uniform circular motion, uh, we need to find how the force is related to mass, velocity, and radius of this path. It is given that this force is dependent upon mass, velocity, and radius. So we will see how it is related. F is equal to some constant into m up to the power a, v to the power b, and r to the power c. We know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. That is m l p to the power minus two, which is equal to. We are not considering k now. Uh, m to the power a. B is l t to the power minus one to the power b and r l to the power c. Okay. Now. We will uh, put it together. M to the power a, L to the power b plus c, and t to the power minus b. It's equal to m L t to the power minus two. So we can easily find from here. We can easily find. We can easily equate t to the power minus two and t to the power minus b. So minus two is equal to minus b. So b is equal to Two. We got one equation. Now we will see, or we will uh, find L. So we know that on equating the powers, one is equal to b plus c, which is equal to two plus c, and c is equal to minus one. Now we have got b and c. Now we have to find a is one. A is equal to one. Now we have got all A, B, and C. So F is equal to some constant into m and v to the power b. That is m v square and the c is minus one. That is r to the power minus one, which is equal to k m v square by R. This is the equation. So we could derive this equation. So that's it, guys. So if you have any doubt, please do comment in the comment section. And if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Geobike.